What's going on guys? Alex with 814 EDC and today I'm ready to do a full review on quite possibly the best knife that I've ever handled and that is of course the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. So this is one of the two knives that I've had in on loan from Corey. Uh, the other one being the Trevor Burger Knives LEXK. But guys, this little gem of a knife right here is has really just blown me away um it really has it is just phenomenal in every single way every single aspect there is not anything that i can knock this knife on it is incredible um i have enjoyed the hell out of having both of these knives in um so Corey, it, thank you so much for letting me check these out you are a great friend um and i really appreciate it because i I had not checked out a Rosie yet, uh, and I, I think I've talked about this uh, in my box, in my unboxing, excuse me. Corey and I were chatting one day, and he was like, hey, have you checked out a Rosie yet? Uh, and I was like, no, I haven't. And I felt like I was one of the only ones, you know, around that haven't, you know, hasn't even handled a Rosie, checked out a Rosie, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so he was nice enough to send me this and the burger, and I have enjoyed you know just flicking them and carrying them and just having them in my presence and being like man i like i would scroll through instagram every night you know i would go through instagram after work and then i would you know wait a while and then do it before i go to bed and um that's kind of my instagram scrolling schedule for all you guys that really care about that uh but i would see so many people posting their rosies and i would literally just be like i have one of those sitting over there like obviously it's not mine um, but I still get to experience and carry and fondle and fidget with this amazing knife, um, that a lot of people are, you know, yearning for and searching for and, and trying to find and stuff like that. So it's just, it's been a really cool experience for me having them in, having this in, uh, just getting to, you know, get to know it a little bit, use it, cut with it, carry it and just have it, you know, to hang out with, I guess you can say. Um, it's like I had a friend over to hang out. Um, hopefully the wind's not too bad right now. I'm, I am filming uh, a couple reviews out here. Of course, I'm in the side-by-side. -side. I uh, am in a nice shaded spot in my or on my property uh, where I live. I did spray some bug spray on because last time, you guys know, I got eaten alive by some flies uh, when I did my side-by-side -side reviews. But hopefully you guys don't mind this setting because I just I like to get out... Um, I don't like doing it in my room all the time, especially if like my whole family's there. Uh, I feel so kind of weird, like if they can hear me, um, you know, reviewing or unboxing or whatever. I know I need to get over that, but I just like getting out, you know, getting into nature and stuff like that. And it's just a little kind of relaxing for me. So hopefully you guys don't mind it. Um, if the wind is getting too bad, definitely leave me, definitely leave me a comment. Um, so maybe I can like get away from doing these so much, but I've, I've enjoyed doing them and I haven't, you know, seen any, any people complain or anybody complain, um, about the wind or anything like that. Uh, I just, I tried finding a decent spot that wasn't like up on a hill that was just like, uh, completely open. I'm kind of in like a little gully down here, but it's of course the days that I want to film, it's just super, super windy. But without further ado, let's dive right into the knife. So you guys all know and all love the Rosie. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful knife. It's it's really, really pretty looking. Probably, you know, one of my favorite knives that I've ever seen. Uh, for materials, we are working with, I think this is a Z-Finite blade. I think Corey got this in before they started doing Magna Cut. I'm not 100% sure, but that is the two blade steels that uh, Oz has been using. In the beginning, it was Z-Finite, which is a LC200N, um, basically LC200N. Uh, and then more recently, they've been doing Magna Cut. Um, but I'm not... I know Corey has had two of these. Um, he sold one. And I can't remember if that was the Magna Cut one or if that was the Z-Finite one. I cannot talk today. Or if this is the Magna Cut or Z-Finite. Um, regardless, it's one of those two steels. Uh, the handle scales are obviously titanium. And this one has the beautiful golf putter milling on there. And it's anodized blue. I really like the combo on here. Um, if I were to get a Rosie, I would definitely search for the golf putter milling just because I'm a big golfer. Um, so that would be kind of cool to show like, um, 
like my dad and my father-in-law, soon to be father-in-law, soon to be brother-in-law, um, who are also pretty big golfers about this pattern and stuff like that. And for two, it just, it looks so sexy and so beautiful. Um, I think Oz, at least to my knowledge, was one of the first ones to kind of bring out the golf putter milling. It looks really, really good. You have a milled titanium pot clip right here that is pretty much deep carry. Uh, for being a non-deep carry clip, it works very, very well. And I love how it's very, you know, um, parallel to the corner back here and it butts up very well. Carries, you know, pretty much with that much sticking out of your pocket, so it's awesome. Uh, it does have... I think it has two detent balls. Um, it's on bearings, but I believe that this is a like Oz does a double detent system, not the double detent system as in like it opens and then you can close it without it locking. Um, but there's I think there's two deep detent balls in there. Um, titanium backspacer there. I also apologize because I don't have my watch on me. I came home from work, uh, chilled out for a little bit, and got changed, and then came out to do some filming and I forgot to throw my watch on, so I'm doing the front facing camera um so i it's a little different but um trying to get through it i got down here and i'm like shoot i forgot my watch uh for materials it has a um, lock bar interface or a lock bar inter insert excuse me um just a really clean overall build has a flat grind comes down to a nice thin edge the grind is or the uh, stock is nice and thin too um, of course it has a choil here milling on both sides there's one two three pockets on that side and looks like three pockets on that side as well just above the lock bar so you have all the milling up in here and then the milling takes up the whole scale in this one as well i don't think i'm missing anything for materials a very simple build but a very elegant build in the same vein um, i'm a big fan of it uh Corey's other one was a little bit more plain jane i think it was just plain tie with like uh blackened hardware or uh I think it was black and hardware and it looked really good too but i just i really love the golf putter milling i really love uh the anodized blue it's a nice light blue and i'm you know i wouldn't necessarily necessarily say that this is my dream rosy um but i really think it looks beautiful and i think it looks sophisticated but also you know you can use it as well so i think that's all for the materials so next up is action and action is uh i mean when I flipped this knife open the first time, you guys saw in the unboxing how like amazing it was. So the middle finger flick is just money. It really is. You know, I love having the hole there. I really like the design of the hole too. It's not like their typical, it's not like a spidey hole it's, and it's not like a pill shaped hole. It's their own, you know, sort of uh, design. And I really like that. Very easy to get your thumb in. You can thumb flick super, super well. You can pointer finger flick super, super well. But the middle finger flick and the spidey flick is just so much fun. I have probably middle finger flicked this knife a thousand times since I've had it, if not more. Uh, I mean, I've just literally sat in my room watching YouTube, you know, playing video games, doing homework, uh, wh whatever it may be. I have flicked this knife a ton and it has been absolutely, you know, just the first flick was or the thousands flick was as good as the first flick for me um it's just it's so much fun the closing action you do have a frame lock I, don't, I think i forgot to mention that for materials frame lock right here drops hit your nail it's very easy to shake home it's not a guillotine dropper because i think they you know that is a result of the two detent system um you can have a a lot of people you know would say well you could have a weaker detent for uh you know, just like a guillotine drop closed. But I think that, you know, the detent is tuned perfectly for the middle finger flick, perfectly for the thumb flick. You can also slow slow roll this knife very, very well easily. Easy as well. I can't, I can't talk to you guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just too excited. You can slow roll this knife very easily as well. Uh, so I think the, the detent is tuned for every single deployment method. Um, lefty, you can flick as well. Thumb flick. Try to get a, a lefty flick. Not nah, too far up on the. There we go. As long as you're not like pressing down on the lock bar too hard, it's gonna fire out very, very well. And I like, you know, it drops to your nail, and I'm okay with a, a drop shutter like that. Um, you can either drop it and then go one and it's close, or if you're like in a really, you know, 
um, slow fidget mood, you can go like that and see how many shakes it takes you to close. Um, but all around, just really, really good action. And I mean, there's no blade play at all. Locked up very tight. And I've, what I found most easiest for me is just to kind of stick my thumb right on the tip there, right up in the corner, and it drops. Just like that. Excuse my beat up knuckles and hand and stuff. Roofing was, roofing takes a, a toll on your hands between washing them all the time and the like tar and stuff on it. And I bash my hand off of a, um, I was like hammering something and the hammer kind of slipped and I hit my hand on the, um, like the one elevated there. I don't really know what I call it, what you call it, but um, yeah, off topic. But that's why I beat up hands. I don't like abuse anybody or get into fights. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Um, yeah, action, phenomenal. Uh, I really just like, I don't think I could put into words how awesome it is and how just defined and snappy and just in and off, like great, how great it feels. I really don't. Um, like it's one of those things you have to feel it to believe it. Uh, you know, I, I heard the hype. I would see everyone getting rosies and I, I had an idea of how good they were, but I feel like getting it in hand and experiencing it kind of took it up another level um, from what I was expecting. So action, middle finger flicks, good. Thumb flick, good. Slow roll, pretty solid. Drop is, you know, drops your nail, nice and shake closed. So cannot complain there at all. Um, it excels in the action department. So next up is Ergos. And that is another thing it excels in really Every category I'm going over, this knife excels in. It really does. Um, as I said earlier, there's not one single thing on the Roosevelt that I can complain about. Like, there is not one thing that I would change about this knife. There is not one thing that I would have them do differently on this knife. It is really, truly, in my opinion, the perfect EDC knife, at least out of the ones that I have handled and the ones that I have in my collection. Um, but Ergos are just fantastic. I mean, you have this beautiful forward finger choy right here. You have another groove for your middle finger, and then I almost said middle finger flick, for your middle finger, and then it's just nice and flat back here. You do have a little bit of a swell just due to the nature of the design of the knife, kind of how it swells. Um, but with this choil, I mean, you just get locked in and you just get a fantastic purchase for push cuts. Um, you can do nice pinch cut uh, grips with it, whatever you're doing. You're gonna be tearing through some labels, some packages. Um, it's not that good in my opinion back here if you're not using the choil for my size hands because I'm kind of just hanging on back there for dear life. I can definitely grip it and it's not like uncomfortable um, but like I wouldn't want to be that far from the blade anyway. So I think anybody that is using the Rosie and anybody that owns the Rosie um, is definitely using the choil 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, you might have that 0 0.01 instance that you're you know kind of back here if you're gonna like kind of chop through something uh, but I don't think the rosie is necessarily built for that so you get up here you know easily all four fingers on here with a little bit sticking out the pot clip is not very proud of the knife at all it's nice it's very minimal minimalistic excuse me um, as you know mill titanium pot clips go it's very minimalistic so it feels great in the hand um, you do have some jipping right in through here sorry there's a fly on me um, jumping in through here that extends from the blade or from the uh, body of the knife onto the blade stock of the knife. So all around great. The, um, golf putter milling makes it feel extra grippy. Uh, it's not like coarse or anything like that. And it's not like it's super, super slick. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, if that makes any sense. Um, but I really, really like it. I have not handled a plain tie one, but I'm sure, you know, the ergos on that are great as well. I mean, it's, it's the same knife. I'm not saying that, but uh, I'm sure the difference between the golf putter milling and the plain tie isn't huge. Um, so really, it's just a preference point on probably on looks because, yes, it adds a little bit of grip, but they're definitely not like deep enough cuts to where it's going to like keep your knife from falling out of your hands. If you're, um, you know, doing some gas station knife fights and you have your rosy on you. Uh, but yeah, so I don't think there's anything else with uh, Ergos that I have to really talk about. Got the pot clip, got the choil. Um, just feels so great in the hand. It really melts into your hand. Um, it's nice and thin. 
it's a thin build not a very tall handle um and it just it's very kind of utilitarian looking but at the same time it's it's just awesome so um next up is carry and you guys guessed it carry is also going to be awesome as well so uh not a deep carry clip but a very for being a mill titanium clip it's it's awesome it's probably one of the best that i've used um, i mean you literally only have like that much sticking up out of your pocket you guys can see that it goes pretty much to the butt end of the knife it looks good i think uh from an aesthetic standpoint it really suits the knife with it open and it just it looks good you have the knife sticking down in your pocket this is not a very big knife at all um, i think the blade is like 2.9 inches so the handle is probably like three and a half maybe but it sits down in you don't have a flipper tab or anything to worry about you do have a little bit of jimping right here but it's not going to be anything that's going to tear your hand or uh make you pull the knife up out of your pocket if you happen to catch it um just goes in and out of pocket super easy i've carried this I had shorts on the one day, so I carried it in my front pocket of my shorts, my front right pocket, and my back right pocket. Um, I think I switched it both that day. I've carried it in gym shorts a few times. Uh, I have like a zip. So I have picture the gym or picture gym shorts has the two normal pockets. I, uh, the pair of gym shorts that I have that I was wearing that day has a zipper pocket right behind the uh, left hand pocket. I've said pocket a lot. Um, and you can zip it back up. So I've carried that in there uh, a few times, I think once or twice carried well you know this thing weighs like nothing especially with the milling uh, and everything going on in there so carried with gym shorts couldn't feel it at all uh yeah just a very lightweight knife um carries well pot clip works extremely well in the pocket well um, and i need to quit saying pocket so carry two thumbs up and that leads me to my final category of price point and what i recommend this knife guys i would recommend this knife every day of the week and twice on Sundays. It is really just, I mean, like I said, I think it's the best pocket knife that I've ever handled. And I will stand by that. I, every time that I come across someone that is a knife guy, I will absolutely recommend the Rosie if they don't have one. I might not have one because they are pricey and they are expensive and they're hard to get, which I'll touch on that in a minute. But I think everybody, sh everybody that is a knife collector and that is deep into the hobby should eventually get a Rosie. Um, I'm going to one day own one. I will say that right now. I hope I can get one. Um, they are hard to come by though, because I don't even think Oz has been doing um, drops recently. I think Daniel Osborne, I think is the name and the creator of Oz Machine Company. And back in the spring, uh, for as long as I can remember, you know, like once a week or so, he would do like email drops or something like that. Like you would enter your, excuse me, you would enter your email in and then he would randomly pick like 10 people. And then if you were one of those 10 people, you could buy uh, a knife from him uh, at book spot price, which is like, I think $700 nowadays. Um, but they're so hard to come by because there's not that many out in the um, world, in the community or whatever. So secondary prices are insanely high. I'm sure you guys know, I'm sure you guys have looked before for Rosies or you've noticed how expensive um, the Rosie is for sale that you've come across before, but they can easily double in price. Um, I'm in the uh, Oz Machine Co. like Facebook group because I figured I'd, I'd join it. It'd be, you know, I figured that'd be one way to look for a Rosie if I really want to get the funds and want to donate the funds to get a Rosie. Um, but as much as, as, usually everyone that I've seen, excuse me, has been you know thirteen fourteen hundred dollars if not more, uh, and that is just way out of my price range. Um, even seven hundred dollars to me is a lot to pay for a knife. But if I want a book spot, I would absolutely move some stuff around. I would come up with the money, uh, one way or another, to secure one uh, from the book spot, which I think is the best way for you guys to do it. I don't know when he's going to start doing like the book spot uh, lottery or raffle or whatever you want to uh, call it. I was on there probably like a week and a half ago. And, uh, the last one was, I think it's like a month and a half, two months ago. So I don't know when he's going to start doing that, but if you're really wanting one, I would absolutely recommend trying to get one that way, get one for $700 or maybe a little bit more if you wanted, uh, you know, some sort of upgrade on the knife. Um, cause I'm sure if you wanted like golf butter milling, it's probably going to be a little bit extra, but still in that price range is much better than spending, 
you know, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars uh, on a knife because that is just really crazy. Um, if I was rich, I'd absolutely would do that, but um, that's just a lot of money to spend on one single knife. So, uh, but if you can, like, if you're uh, an owner of a Rosie and you don't want it anymore and you want to sell it, then you know more power to you for wanting to get that much because that's a lot of money for a knife. But so, long story short, I rambled a little bit there go try to find one if you have you know a couple thousand dollars laying around and you want to get a couple knives then yes definitely try to pick one up either on the book spot or even on the secondary if you can afford it um, you really will not re regret it at all um, i'm gonna try to get one someday like i said i would easily i'm in a heartbeat sell a few knives to at least come up with some of the funds and then cover the rest myself out of you know out of my bank account or whatever uh, it's, it's just that good guys it really is um Ergos are fantastic. Materials are great. I mean, one thing I didn't even hit on with this being um, Magna Cut's really corrosion resistant as it is, but if it's Zephanit, this thing's basically a rust proof knife, which is awesome. Um, you know, for you guys that sweat out there, myself included, it's a really cool feature um, that, you know, you might not think about as much that it's going to be safe from corrosion. And that's just, that's another bonus, I think. Um, so just materials are great. You know, looks, I think it's drop dead sexy. It's just, it's beautiful. You have that nice blade shape, beautiful handle. I love the golf putter milling. Um, Corey's in specifically, or specific here. I really like the blue. The pot clip looks nice. Just all around, you know, action, phenomenal. It's just so clean, so crisp, so fun to play with. And I'm, I'm gonna miss this thing so much. Um, it's gonna be a really sad day whenever I ship this in the burger bag because I've really, really enjoyed having two gorgeous knives to you know high-end knives in, the, in for a couple weeks and stuff like that so uh it's gonna be a sad day when i go to the post office but um again Corey, thank you so much if you're still watching by now we're 22 minutes in um but i've really appreciated you sending this to me i've really really enjoyed having this to check out and get to know a little bit so but yeah i'm gonna quit rambling now guys this was my full review on the oz machine company roosevelt an absolute gem of a knife um you know in my opinion, out of all the knives I've handled so far, the best pocket knife out there. Um, just a fantastic piece of machinery. And hopefully one day I can own one. Um, I'm, I'm really going to try to uh, in the future. Hopefully he starts doing the book spots and stuff like that because that's how I'm going to try to get one. I really don't want to spend one uh, or buy one on the secondary as I already explained. But yeah, so uh, again, that was my full review on the Oz Machine Company Roosevelt. Absolutely beautiful knife. Uh, Corey, thank you so much for sending it my way. I will link Stafford's EDC, uh, his Instagram, and his YouTube in the description down below. Please go check him out. I think he's uh, he has about the same subs, same amount of subs as I do, um, but he puts out some great content, and he's uh, another college kid just like me. Uh, Corey's a good buddy, so please go check him out. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.